Hey everyone, Arnaldo Lofman, Master School Dances. So, let's go ahead and uh, cover another quick CompuShow lesson, and that is mapping multiple fixtures to your master page. As you noticed, I am working on the main CompuShow layout for our company page, or our company, you know, general standard light show, I guess if you call it that. And we have our tripars, and then of course we have our color strips. Let's say we have a show where we need the tripars and color strips to be able to have this color wheel match all of them. Of course, I can go to the tripars and I can move them, you know, by hitting the color mixing all. I can also go to color strips and take the dimmer, dimmer bring it all. But let's say that I want to put both of them together, the tripars and the color strips on the master page. Well, let's do that real quick. First, let's go ahead and go to layers and we're going to make a new layer. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and just click OK. And let's see here. We're gonna rename that layer. We're just gonna call it. Um, we'll just call it test layer. Okay. Now, basically, the layers are the entire master page. You can have multiple layers, so you can have a layer of nothing but scenes from maybe a show that you're doing, or you know, or maybe uh, you're gonna have uh, different lights for a school dance versus a wedding. So this is a nice way to organize. And then each layer is organized into zones. For example, see where it says other and then color mixing? Those are zones within a layer. And you can do this for any page you want whatsoever. It just allows tons of different options. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and go to the test layer. Now we're going to go to layer settings. And we're going to create a new zone. This zone is going to be called flood color mixing. And we're going to go ahead and specify what kind it is. It's going to be a color mixing layer. I hit the little gear icon, and then I hit color mixing. Hmm, changes right there automatically. Okay, so now we have the flood color mixing uh, zone that I made. And, of course, we have our color wheel. We're going to go to button, and we're going to make a new switch or a scene, whichever you prefer. We're going to have it empty. We're going to put it in the flood color mixing, and we're going to put color mixing all, or whatever you want to call it. But I'm just going to call it color mixing all, and we're going to OK and edit it. All right, so here we go. So we have our Mega Tri 64s, and we're just going to go ahead and select all of them just to make things a little bit easier. And I haven't organized my fixtures yet, but that'll be something later on. So we're going to do the Mega Tri 64s, and we're basically going to have them right here. Okay, and then we're going to turn, I want my dimmer pretty much to be all the way up, whoops. So we're going to go, ah, set levels, my goodness, I'm having a hard time clicking today. Dimmer linear, there we go, turn it all the way up. The color strip, we're going to go ahead and we're going to have it on RGB color mix, which is basically meaning that it's going to activate the red, green, and blue. And I'm actually going to hit the control key, which is going to allow me to select multiple ones of these. Okay. Now I can use the regular dimmer or I can use the dimmer min max. We'll cover dimmer min max later on. For now, we're just going to choose regular dimmer. Okay. We've already saved everything there. And nothing else really needs to be added. Let's say if you have other lights that do RGB color mixing, you can do that. Whatever you'd like. We're just going to go ahead and save it. We're going to go move it up here. And now, as I move this, we're going to go to the fixtures. Let's move the fixtures over here so you can kind of see what's going on. Wow, it's lagging on my computer just a bit, the Windows rig. Let's, uh, over here. Okay, so we have the master page. We have our mega bar or mega tripod profiles plus the color strip and I only have one color strip even though we have a bunch of them just because they're all going to be in the same DMX address so now the mega tripod profiles and the color strip will do the exact same thing now you can also make another one and maybe call it you know fixture color mixing for example when I did the event at a local nightclub called Boots and Buckles they had a concert there we tied all their generic par 64s to their Martin uh, Max 600. So as I move this, all the lights moved in the same color. It was a very, very nifty thing to do. But that's pretty much it there. Now again, we talked about the layers and stuff. Let's say I make another new layer. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. And we're gonna call this Wedding. 
So let's say I you know, make my different zones and stuff for my wedding, but then later I want to go back to my test, and there it is. So again, you can your master page can have different layers for different shows, different events. If you want to show all of them, you can show all of them, but it's not going to show them in the way that you quite would expect it to. So again, just different ways so you can really customize things, and you can do this with any page that you want. So I hope that helps out, and that was a special request from DJ Alzer. So I hope that helps out. Again, my name is Arnaldo Wofferman, Master School Dances. Thank you so much, and God bless.